SPS wants families to come together. See how schools are hosting events to help encourage unity in their school community. More than 50 BIPOC speakers and two special guests from the White House stopped by Chief Self International to share their career journeys. We've got all this and more coming up on First Bell. My name is Principal Lowry from Aki Croce Middle School and my students are taking over First Bell. Hey SPS, I'm Sophia Charchuk. My colleague Teresa is on assignment. We're excited to chime in on all the great things happening around the district. This month, our friends in the Kingmakers program at Aki Karosi Middle School are taking over the broadcast. Take it away, Peace Cranes. It's all about showing up. SPS wants families to explore their school communities by getting involved. From joining the PTSA to attending family nights to volunteering on campus, there are plenty of ways for parents to tap in. Events like carnivals, talent shows, and donation drives allow families to learn more about their school's culture in a fun way. South Shore Pre-K hosted a family night that included pizza, a meet and greet with teachers and community organizations, and a scavenger hunt. Resource teacher Tamara Kelly said these family gatherings are important for building community connections. Because we are a community, we need to get together so that we can see each other, that we can um, fellowship and eat together. All those things are necessary in a, in a family, so this is just an extended family. At Lawton Elementary, families came together for a back-to-school bash where they played games and ate treats sold by the PTA. Lauren Ring has a first grade at Lawton. She shared that these family nights give her a chance to see old friends and make new ones. One of the things that makes Lawton and the school so special is really the sense of community, getting to know the other parents, both because you get to know their kids and know a little bit about what's important to them, um, their traditions or cultures, but also to have a, people to have your backs. Adam Powell is a seventh grader at Aki Karosi Middle School. He said it's important for students to see their parents show up and get involved in the school community. It makes me feel really happy that they took the time to come to my event. It boosts my confidence. Once you have that kind of confidence, it really boosts the way you look at yourself. Many schools host family nights or cool events throughout the school year. Check your school websites for details about upcoming events. I'm Dominic Pavajo, reporting for First Bell. Back to the studio. Chief South International High School leaders want its diverse student body to see themselves in a variety of careers. Their Classroom to Career Day did just that. London has the story. More than 50 BIPOC professionals turned out for Chief South's College and Career Fair, where students got a rare opportunity to hear from some government VIPs. Follow your passion. It's not every day that students get to meet officials from the White House. Two very special guests came all the way from Washington, D.C. to speak on their experiences as women of color working in our nation's capital. Kiran Ahuja is the first South Asian American in her role as Director of U.S. Office of Personnel Management. She stressed the importance of having diversity beyond race and gender in federal agencies. We make all kinds of policies that affect every American, and we want to make sure that those policies actually are, reflect the reality and can actually be helpful for people um, all over the country. Acting National Cyber Director Kemble Walden told the students it's not too early for them to start thinking about careers in the White House. High schoolers are digital natives. They understand this technology probably a little better than I do. Um, and so I need to hear from them. I need their perspectives. I need them to start thinking about how they're going to contribute to society. Principal Ray Garcia Morales said Chief South International is one of the most diverse high schools in the district. So being able to show representation across so many fields is not only important, but also intentional. To have uh, community leaders, business owners, or even folks from the White House who look like our students, who have shared life experiences, um, that's who we want in front of our students. So. We were really successful with that today and we're going to continue that work. Students who are ready to start making plans for their future should talk to a school counselor to learn more about college and career opportunities. This is London West reporting for First Bell. What's up SPS? I'm Jay Andre here to bring you some important announcements. Get ready for the rundown. It's almost winter. 
and you don't want to show up for school if it's closed. Use the source to update your contact preferences so that you receive our urgent weather alerts. Be sure to hit that follow button on social media to get the latest updates from the district. There will be no school on Thursday, November 23rd and Friday, November 24th in observance of Thanksgiving and Native American Heritage Day. The district office will also be closed. School will resume on Monday, November 27th. Listen up class of 2024. This one is for you. It's time to start applying for scholarships and financial aid. The application for the federal and state financial aid opens December 1st. The Amazon Future Engineer Scholarship is now open until December 14th. Students can earn up to $40,000 in scholarship money. And don't forget, all SBS seniors are eligible for the Seattle Promise Scholarship. The deadline to apply is February 2024. You can learn about these opportunities and more on the district website. Back to you, Sophia. That's it for this episode. If you want to learn more about these stories, visit our website and be sure to subscribe to our newsletter, School Beat, for the latest district news. Don't forget to tune in next month when more SPS students take over the broadcast. Until next time, I'm Sophia Charchuk. We'll catch you later for First Bell.